I'm Laura Fong, your host for Common Sense. And if you can dream it, Cisco can develop, manufacture, and deliver it. For President and CEO Neil Kay, he saw how difficult it was for people to make products overseas, so he started this company nearly 40 years ago. We're going to take a look at some of their innovative products like the Rally Flip Cap. This is just one of our, our front front sample rooms, and obviously your head's gonna be spinning, but we have so many different products. Cisco's produced thousands of goods over the years. They've manufactured toys of all kinds, licensed products, kitchenware, exercise equipment, and much more. You name the product, and they can likely source and deliver it. So they can either come with, to you with like a photo, like this is what I want, or they could say, this is my idea, can you make it happen? Exactly, so like, um, we have a creative department as well as an engineering department, so there's two different ways we work. Um, for instance, like if you had an actual product, you're like, hey, Jordan, you know, I need this specific shoe. I need a specific shoe. This is what I want. This is what the color. You know, we'll be able to source, manufacture that accordingly. Um, but then there's other aspects where you come to us saying, hey, you know, Cisco, Jordan, um, we, we have a 35,000 piece program coming up late August. Um, you know, demographics catered to women through this, this age group. What can you give me to you know, meet the need and meet the theme of the event? Jordan Kay is the national sales manager and son of President and CEO Neil Kay. He and his brother Ian both joined the family business during hard times. Obviously 2009, the economy tanked, everyone felt it. I actually made the sacrifice to come back here, um, made sure the business was afloat. My brother took a year off from Loyola Marymount. For many years, Cisco only focused on sourcing their clients' products, which they continue to do and excel at. But when the economy fell flat, it was time to readjust the business model. And as a new college grad, Jordan started thinking outside the box. Even though it's good steady business, we need to do that, but we need to streamline a new area of the business where we come up with our own more proprietary products. With our own proprietary products, we can work on higher margins and that'll, that basically put the business at ease, so there's always streamlining coming in, and then we're still able to do the sourcing service what we do best. So Cisco started making and patenting their own goods, like the DigiPiggy, an electronic bank that keeps count for you. It's a fun educational toy that is sold internationally and was featured on CNET. Pop in a coin, and the Wee Oinker displays its value and keeps a running tab of how much you've saved. Or the 123 Miracle Sharpener, the most advanced three position manual knife sharpener on the market. So here is a card, and here is a tomato, and obviously I can't cut through the tomato with the card, right? But run it through the Miracle Sharpener real quick. I can cut through said tomato like butter. Another product Cisco launched is the Rally Flip Cap, and this one took the whole K family to make it happen. I love that it's how your family brought it all together, your idea, your brother's graphic design, your dad's manufacturing and experience. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't easy, um, obviously, but the thing the thing that we really prided ourselves on is, you know, we, we wanted to do this right the first time. Jordan is the brainchild behind the Rally Flip Cap. He came up with the idea at a Dodgers game with his dad. You've been to a ball game, right? You know baseball, right? You know rally time. So rally time in baseball, you know, People are in the stands, they're flipping their hats inside out, they're doing the goofy shark fin, all, you know, it's all part of the baseball game. So there was a foul ball, father and son sitting in front of my dad and I. The ball almost hit the son while the dad was doing the son's cap, flipping it inside out. And a light went on in my head saying, hey, you know, there's gotta be a better way. Rally flip caps are hats with two bills. When it's rally time, you're not like this and you don't get hit by a ball miss the greatest play in the world, but now all you have to do is say, hey, I'm here, ready to go. Oh, big play, hey guys, yeah. Smack, <laughs> give me five right there. Yes. And they're good to go. This is their classic rally flip cap. It looks like a regular hat, but has a split bill so you can flip it up and show off the inside design. Or you can write your own message with the dry erase version. Comes with a pen. So now you can literally write what's on your mind. What's up? What's up? It's a novelty cap, but it's in the bill. So if you don't want to flip it, you still have a great cap and no one knows. Both designs are on the market now and they're steadily gaining popularity. 
Welcome back. Common Sense is flipping over Cisco, a sourcing company right here in Torrance that's made thousands of products and shipped them all over the world. They stand out from the competition with their decades of experience. When I was a kid, I took an internship in Taiwan. At 19 years old, this is in 1973 to 74 and a half. I went for the summer, stayed for a year and a half. And what I did was I worked in a trading company doing sourcing, inspection, sending out samples. And I started learning about the needs for outsourcing. Neil Kay is the president of Cisco, and he started the company a couple years after returning from his internship in Taiwan. We act as an import division for many companies. Uh, with our experience as far as knowing the right provinces, where products are made. And it's good because like you were saying, you know which are the most reliable, who you can trust out there. Exactly, exactly. It, it could be a bit of a hornet's nest dealing in China. Kay ensures any products he makes overseas meets the same high standards set here in the States in terms of quality and fair treatment of workers. We uh, contract with third party uh, companies that do inspections. These are bona fide companies such as SGS, or BV, these are companies that are internationally certified to go out and go into the, into the factories and actually monitor the work situation to make sure that the factories are conforming to labor laws. Cisco can proudly say, after all these years importing, the government has never taken their products due to safety concerns or violations. We find out what are the standards of today and our factories before they go in production must meet that standard, otherwise there's no order. We've been very careful, we've turned away business but we've had less, we don't have the headaches that other people have because we only do it cleanly. We only deal with, with products that have been tested, uh, making sure there's no contaminants. I mean, lead is a very big problem for kids, especially in toys. We don't have that problem. So we've had products that brought in and say, oh, this is so-and-so. Some other importer had their goods seized. They took our goods because it was similar. When ours was tested, we passed. Kay has years of experience working overseas, and while outsourcing is a common practice now, in the 70s, Cisco was one of the first. The greatest challenges was, of course, uh, developing business and contacting clients, and uh, at the time, because we were a, a, a pioneer as far as outsourcing, uh, we found it to, to be, uh, doors were opening, people wanted to listen to what we had to offer. So, uh, step by step, we started growing. Cisco continues to be pioneers as they branch out with their own products, like the Beckford Bar. Cisco worked closely with supermodel Tyson Beckford to create one of the most effective exercises for the upper body. I can do about 25 at a time. If it means looking anything like a supermodel, I'm in. Now go down. Now come back up. Okay. One more. Can you do one more? Okay. What do you think? Oh, it's definitely a workout. Cisco is helping people get in shape and recover from workouts. Their newest innovative product that they plan to launch this year is called Chill Time. When I play tennis with them afterwards, the guys I play with are 70 years old, 65, 70, and they sit there and they take ice bags because of the swelling in their knees. They take plastic bags of ice, they wrap it around with an ice bandage, they sit there and the water's dripping all over the place, and they sit there talking, having a beer, they don't know how long it's on for, and they don't ice, they can't cover the whole knee. So what we decided to do is we came out with an ice bag that does a 180 degree wrap of your knee. It's never been done before. So you can actually walk around with this thing on while you're icing. If you're on an airplane, an athlete, you can ice in your chair. You don't have to wait and, and gel, you know, gel, uh, after five minutes, gel doesn't stay cold. Now here's the beauty. We also put an extra wide cap. The old kind of ice caps were only an inch and a half. You couldn't put ice cubes in. You put the ice cubes in, you hit them against the table, you break it, you break your bag. Yeah. This bag is not neoprene. This is a fabric coated TPR. It's a composite rubber that's covered with material. So it can go directly onto your, to your knee. You put your ice in here, and then we put the cap on. The middle of the cap, it's chill time. You can set it for 20, 15, five, 10, five. Now if you hold down at five, it'll stay on. And you put the wrap on and you compress it with your compression wrap. And guess what? In 20 minutes or five minutes, whatever you set it for, you know it's time to take it off. While Kay is the one who thought of Chill Time, he's working closely with his team to develop and launch the product. And part of the Cisco team is his two sons, Jordan and Ian. They join the business after college, uh, and they each bring their own expertise. Jordan as far as marketing, and Ian as far as his artistic and creative, creativeness, and we put it all together. They kind of cut me in half 
and take a little bit of each of me and, and uh, we go forward and uh, we're growing the company. While the Ks say it isn't always easy working with family because they can drive you nuts, they can also bring the best out of you. Before we take a break, I had to test Kay's Chinese. Ni si gong chong man ma. A little bit, you know, mama fufu, not so good. You know, the price is too high, tai kui. <laughs> you know, so I mean, I, I can understand and I could s listen to a conversation and pick up good parts of the conversation, but speaking fluently, not fluently, but as far as culturally, um, I think I probably am culturally Chinese. Pretty impressive. After all, Chinese is a very difficult language. I speak Cantonese. Can Cantonese is like... And they have 18 different... No, no, eight. Eight Dif different tones for the same word. Right. So. Uh, yes, and, the, and Mandarin's four tones. Yes. But uh, Cantonese is, is only is eight tones, mm -hmm. more confusing and very difficult, very easy to embarrass yourself. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do it all the time and I've been speaking it my whole life. Yeah. All right, stick around. We're meeting the creative team next. Plus I grill the K brothers about what it's really like working with their dad and each other. Common Sense is back and we're behind the scenes at Cisco on Tello Avenue off Lomita Boulevard. While the international headquarters is in Torrance, they work all over the world. What we do here is we uh, you know, bring clients ideas or uh, per individuals conceptual ideas to life so we we like to say we are merchants of the world because in reality we if you can dream it Cisco can deliver it and engineer it and make it. Ian Kay is the creative sales manager and creative director and he's the son of Cisco founder Neil Kay but Ian tells us he and his brother Jordan didn't get any special treatment which made him a better businessman today. We were given a broom and a mop when we first started here. We, we earned the respect having earned our desks. If there's one thing that I've learned hands down, it's uh, to run and, and to have a successful business. Uh, for anyone, I, you have to do it and know your business from the ground up. And then if you understand your business and know what you do and, and the ins and the outs and what you lack, that's how you can grow and how you can really know your service and what you provide. So that's something that I am very lucky and fortunate to, to bring to the table. Ian now works on graphics, logos, mock-ups, and any other artwork. Plus he works alongside Jared Christian, the director of internet marketing, to drive traffic to their websites. Um, he's constantly trying to market the, each product in different ways and I'm taking notes of what's being successful and what's not. And then every once in a while I'm just throwing in curveballs just for fun. And I'm kind of limited in our budget here. It forces me to be extra creative. So we make a lot of videos here in house. It's just fun because we can be silly, because it's a street brand, so there's really no rules. So if I'm selling like an expensive watch or a kid's toy, I'm really confining what I can do, but this is really raw in general, so we can just be stupid. Christian joined the Cisco team about a year ago and loves the small business environment, especially since he gets to bring his dog, Indiana Jones, to work. I was looking for a job for a while and I refused to not be myself. So I, a whole bunch of people denied me and eventually the one group of people that accepted me was the perfect fit for me because these guys are great. So it works out really well. Now how do Ian and Jordan really feel about working at the family business? It's not easy, but it's, it's how do I describe it? I would say it's, it's, it is the most beautiful thing, but it could also be the most stressful thing. Uh, just because we're around each other all day, but at the same time just knowing uh, where, where the business was when we came in and building it together, I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer. It's special in itself. I am so happy at times to be working with them and all this time spent here, but at the end of the day, it is tough. As we like to say here, familiarity, knowing each other, how to push each other's buttons, breeds, um, you know, it makes us, it's harder to work here, but at the same time, we work very well. It would seem it can be tough to work with family, but the K-Boys wouldn't have it any other way. We bring three different kind of mindsets and um, ideas to the table. We're, we're all different people here, and yes, it's my brother and my dad, but you know, we, we are all creative, but at the end of the day, we, we, uh, we value each other's opinions, and we, uh, we have fun, and, and we, uh, we work very well together when we put our heads together. It's not always easy working with family, and it's definitely no walk in the park to start a business either. But Neil Kay has some advice to entrepreneurs plan to work hard, hard long hours, uh, you need to put off instant gratification for, for deferred gratification, and uh, remain, remain calm as you, as you go into a competitive environment and go for your passions. And for Neil, he used his expertise in sourcing to chase his passion nearly 40 years ago, and now he has a successful sourcing company that also produces innovative products. Cisco continues to bring new ideas to the market work smart and bring something to the market that's not there. 
I mean, another nobody needs another widget, another can opener. Uh, now, if it's a better can opener, yes, maybe. But you really have to always strive to bring more innovation to the market. Special thanks to Cisco for welcoming us to their warehouse and office. And thank you to the Kay family and Jared Christian. And if you need something sourced and manufactured, you can give Cisco a call at 310-326-9300.